So Google actually stopped naming their Android versions on the deserts. And I kind of for a time being felt very bad about it because every time that was a new Android getting launched, it was more of a surprise element of what the name should be instead of just Android 10, 11, 12, 13. But as long as we are getting latest updates as well as latest features, I don't really care about it. And in this video, I have my Android 11 installed on K20 Pro. So I've been using it for the past three days and I have came to a conclusion whether it is safe for you to test it and use it as your daily driver or not. So keep watching this video till the end and I'll be talking about all those features and bugs as well as the gaming performance in this video. My name is Saurabh, this is Adam Saurabh, let's get started. So starting off with the launcher, this comes with a Google Pixel launcher in built, which is a very nice thing. And yes, Google Pixel launcher on home screen can now go into the landscape mode. Now I don't really know why someone will use it, but better to have it and not use it than to not have it and use it. So they provided it there. And the launcher itself does not have all the features like the app suggestions that is there on the home screen. It's not present at the moment, but this is just the beta phase. So those features can be added on in the latest phase. Now one interesting thing to watch this time is whenever you are gonna pull your notification sheet down or your app drawer up, you can see a shift of wallpaper towards the back and it feels good, it gives a depth effect there. And this is a small customization or a small feature that they added, a small animation I would say, added to Android 11. And that is one of the things that I really like. Then second thing that they have here is the notification shape. And now you can see that all the notifications that are coming are being segregated into different sections. So suppose you get a notification of a WhatsApp conversation, there would be a third category here with the name of conversations coming on top of a normal notification. Now coming on the settings options, you would not be finding at this phase a lot of customization features which is expected because it's still a beta phase after all. But Every feature which is there seems to work perfectly as of now. From this Firefly logo animation to Bluetooth logo animation that they also added to VOLT to voice calling, everything else works super. Positive thing here for all those people who have Android Auto is it's now inbuilt here. So you don't really have to do any more hassle of downloading any other applications. It's right in inbuilt in your settings. Now battery is one thing that actually surprised me. Knowing this was a beta phase, I wasn't expecting much from the battery life but however it did surprise me a lot. If you see, the last charge that I had was 27 hours ago and my screen time usage is still 5 hours and 47 minutes so almost 6 hours and I still have 28% of battery remaining. So my guess is that you will be easily able to get a approximate screen time of 6.5 hours on this ROM. And yes, I did play games during this time as well. So that is one thing which is also positive about this ROM that I found. Privacy. Privacy is one of the things that Google improved a lot in Android 11. So now whenever the applications are requesting access, you will have even more control over that access. You can even remove the access when the application is not being used in the background. So the application cannot use any of the permissions that you granted initially later on when it's running in the background which is really amazing and then you have system and inside that you can change the input front camera effects yes front camera led and everything is there then gestures not much gestures but quick camera system gestures prevent ringing only these three swipe to take screenshots is not there at the moment then date and time, you can customize, not really customize, not really much customization options available, but you can set. And reset options is that developers options already enabled and everything else inside that is present. So that was all for the settings, complete settings of the phone. Now, the ROM comes with two cameras installed predefined. One of them is a Google camera, normal one, which does not open. And I've also tried flashing NX camera with the Android 11 fix. It also doesn't work and yes I have provided with all the permissions before opening the camera but it still didn't work but the second camera is Google Go camera and that does work so it's not really bad the only thing that you'll be missing is ultra wide lens and 48 megapixel all those features 
but rest everything will work fine you can take a picture you can take a recording and front camera and everything is working fine so that's for the camera and one thing that i noticed which was surprising for me was if i click on delete here it's asking me to give the permission to photos to delete a file and keep it to the trash if i allow only then it deletes the image which is a really weird feature for me because i wasn't expecting that one more thing that if you hold the power button as of now they don't have the integration of google home here or not the google pay payments options which probably we might be seeing in the later updates or later builds so that's one thing that's missing here again and the famous music widget is also present here so really nice so you just have to play a song let the song in the background move down and you can see that the music widget is there in the status bar now and with just one tap here you can switch the devices of the playback options instantly without having much difficulties and if you drag it down along with the notification sheet getting expanded music widget also gets expanded you can pause play move do everything and then once you're done with it you just have to close the applications and that should go away like that one other feature that is there present is the android recording so screen recording but well, all those people who are using custom rooms already had access to this but this time if you are not using it and this is the first time well android 11 integrated that feature from custom rooms i believe but now if you press on record screen you'll have a small timer on the right on the status bar and it shows a red icon saying that the screen is being recorded which is a nice thing and in order to pause you just have to scroll down and then tap on the red icon and it would stop your recording so small feature but amazing feature oh another feature is this app preview section so these styles are now bigger than android 10 and a bit more readable and on the bottom of it you have the screenshot and select option select option is not working at this build so but the idea is once you tap this you can select the text from the application and then you can just copy and you know paste it and the screenshot you tap this and this screenshot is being taken right away which you can go ahead and scroll you can scribble you can edit it as long as you want you can crop it as long as you want and you can also delete it whenever you want so that's the idea of that i've also tried gaming on this rom and believe me i wasn't expecting much performance considering this is a beta phase but surprisingly it also is good in this performance so you wouldn't feel any jitter any lag and i was playing this game on high graphics like completely high graphics and I did not find any frame drops or any lag at all. Now talking about the downside of this room, ambient feature is not working. So no ambient light or notifications, it doesn't turn on the screen. That's one thing that I've noticed. Fingerprint is pretty fine, no problem on that. So ambient screen is not working at the moment. The option is not there and also you can't really customize it. So that's one thing that's been missing. Second thing, whenever I switch off and then some notification comes and then it turns off, you saw what happened. A sudden increase in the brightness which takes your attention suddenly. So whenever your phone is kept somewhere and suddenly you get a notification, you'll have it normally. But when the screen is going to be put off, it will catch your attention. So that's a brightness issue that I'm being facing on this build. I think in the future updates, they will be changing that too. And besides that, not much like besides the customized the lack of customization features, I don't really miss out on anything else. And believe me, I've been using it for three days and I didn't really feel that I should go back to Android 10. However, I would because I really like to customize my phone to the depth and I'm not able to do this in this way. So that's been it. And if you want to install, you can find the link in the description of the ROM and the kernel and the instructions present there as well. So that was all for this video and I hope you really enjoyed watching it and you know the rest of the trail. So if you enjoyed watching this video, press that like button. If you are new to my channel, come on guys, subscribe. And if you have any questions, any queries, reach out to me on my Instagram here or in the comment section below. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.